how to deal with code switching in children. Oh no, my child is mixing languages. I have only one thing to say to that. Get used to it. Hi there, Andrea here. Join me and my cosmopolitan community by subscribing to this channel and my mailing list. Here you will find useful information, tips and practical advice to raise your multilingual children successfully. Why is my child mixing languages? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe. Maybe. Mixing languages is very natural in multilingual people. Now, once you become a parent, you have a big responsibility. And that means that you need to watch out what you say and do in front of your children. Because you are a superstar for your kids. Once they become teenagers, you lose pretty quickly that status. So enjoy it while you have it. We could talk about this topic for hours and hours because it is complex, but for all of you that don't have time for blah blah, here's what I want you to remember. First of all, you are a superstar. You are a role model. That means that what you say and do, your kids are going to copy. The good and the bad things. So if you mix languages, they are also going to mix. If you speak in one language at a time, your kids are still going to mix. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. They are going to mix in the beginning until they reach a certain level in each language. And eventually, all of your efforts and struggles to stick to a language at a time will pay off. I promise you, it will pay off. So pull yourselves together and be a great role model for your kids. In my home, for example, my kids code mix and code switch regularly in three to four languages. And I take it easy because I know that it is part of their multilingual development. But I go an extra mile each time they mix and provide them with vocabulary that they are missing in the target language so that they are at least hearing it. Sometimes I make them repeat after me. That, in combination with regular exposure to the target language, is going to be the key to reaching my multilingual goals for my children. Now, that is just an example, and it might not be applicable to every multilingual family. What you need to remember is that raising multilingual children is a long-term investment. You need to keep on going for years and years and years. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. That constant input and effort is what is going to lead to raising multilingual children successfully. So here are some power tips when it comes to dealing with code switching and code mixing with children. First of all, be consistent when speaking your language or your languages. Be a good role model and avoid mixing unintentionally languages in front of your kids. Don't worry when you hear your children mixing. It's perfectly normal and most of all inevitable when growing up multilingual. So there is no point in, in fighting against that. You will lose anyway. Next thing, make sure to let your children know what you expect of them. My kids know, for example, that I expect them to speak with me in Spanish and so if they don't know how to say something, that is okay, but I expect them to try and make at least an effort. The clearer it is for your children what you want from them, the easier it becomes for them to follow you. When your children mix, paraphrase the sentence in a natural way repeating what was said using the language correctly. When possible, make them repeat after you. By doing this consistently, your children will learn that you expect them to make an effort and don't accept laziness. Watch my other videos about code switching and code mixing and be on the lookout for coming courses in which I will reveal a lot, a lot more information about this important topic for multilingual families. Please let me know in the comment section how you deal with mixing of languages in your home. 
give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and keep on doing a great job, and talk to you soon.